Welcome to Crazy 8's 2011. Uh, we've just gone through looking at 100 or so video pitches and uh, narrowed it down to 40 people who are going to be pitching in person. And we had to make the very tough decision of choosing only 13 teams to move forward to the story edit session. It's been, it's been uh, several hours of deliberation in the CMPA offices, and thankfully, we have chosen six winning scripts to move forward and get made for Crazy Eights 2011. We're about to hand out the cash. Uh, they've got eight days starting today to make their films. I'm really excited to see what happens. Amazingly, some of the teams are picking up this morning and literally rolling right onto set. Hi, welcome to Dead Friends. Uh, it's been a crazy day. Uh, the kids are wonderful. We made the mistake of having craft service with sugar. Um, that was a bad idea. A demon visits me and tells me what to write, <laughs> and I write it. I don't know, the script wrote itself. It's weird. <laughs> Here we go. Oh. I am so excited right now. I can't tell you. Um, this is the first time I've been able to direct and act with my gorgeous and talented wife, Jillian. This is a special moment. Frame and action. We both do different things. Like, she's yeah. working with actors. I like working with the camera. It was tricky at first figuring out who was in charge of what and making sure that nothing would fall through the cracks or nothing would get doubled up. Let's turn over. We're rolling. The shoot's been fantastic. It's been going really, really well. I got an unbelievable, amazing crew behind me. They have been spectacular. Some stuff's going to happen over there. Fire, dysfunction. Only over there. Moving, rap. Crazy Eight after party. Yeah. That's pretty much where we are. Yeah. It is fantastic working with professional actors. I see you two decided to take some of this stuff. This is my first Crazy Eight, and I'm really, really pleased to be part of it. It was a, just a really, really beautiful script. The characters are all so, there's so much to them. There's so much depth to them. And I just think it's a really beautiful story. It's kind of electric, like the, the team that has to make it and go on and do the, the rest of the, the days and the editing process and all that. Like, uh, you can feel that kind of, oh, oh, you know. <laughs> Great. That's pretty That's good. That's perfect. Good job, everyone. It's been a go since the green light to prep, design, find materials, beg, borrow, and steal. The set, I mean, really is a character. Part of the decayingness of this couple's relationship. I was really jazzed about these photos of Detroit that a French photographer had done of you know, kind of modern, destroyed, post-apocalyptic Detroit that, that is now. And then you came to me and uh... I showed you a bunch of weird Russian art films, these weird clown engineer people. Yeah. And I said, oh yeah, let's do something like that. It's a little bit painful because it is about a, a very intimate relationship that has gone stale. Great, that's a cut, cut. What I had wanted to do was kind of look at what happens to people who are engaged in activism as situations sort of get worse. I think that people who are engaged in activism are making incredible personal sacrifices. And so to take this girl uh, and, and put her in that position, that was kind of the goal. Get your cards ready, just make sure it's... As for the subject matter, I think it's, it's a really ambitious project for this level of, for the amount of time we had to work on it. And for the budget, we got the look with, you know, some Ikea shelves and labels on jars and a couple of posters. 
the look of the film was something that was really important to achieving the desperation of it all. And we tried to be pretty inventive with the direction and the framing and the lighting, so hopefully it comes across. I've worked with both Russell and Gillian Bennett in the past. What's been really exciting to me over the last day and a bit has been that we were able to keep that collaborative experience going. If I give him a note, he goes, yeah, okay, fine. And then he can come back, look at the monitor, see if he agrees, and off we go. Perfect, great. It's just going great, it's a lot of fun. Half of our work is in bed, which kind of makes sense. And of course, like Russell and Gillian are married. Helps to sleep with the director. <laughs> And so I feel like I'm really blessed and lucky to be doing all of this. I am trying to sleep. Me too. Me three. Sorry, guys. Yeah, this is a really funny business. Funny business. It was tough to get this location. Uh, it was a little bit of a speed bump. We had to go from a basement to an exterior shed, which uh, as you can see, has been working out <laughs> incredibly well. Yeah, we got a, a great cast, very, I think, a famous cast. <laughs> this is my fifth Crazy Eights I've done, and my first one sober. So I'm pretty proud about that. You know what I love about Crazy Eights is, within two weeks, you get to see the you get to see the finished product. We're working with Rahan, who is a friend of ours for the last 25 years. So it's really easy, sort of a family tradition sitting around making movies. Oh, Rahan's great and we just really wanted to help him out when he asked us to come aboard and he's making a really cool little picture here. Hi. Alpha, take two. Working with kids is actually awesome. I like working with kids better than working with adults. Even though everyone warns you not to work with kids, uh, they're wrong. The kids we have, at least, are rock stars. They've been way more professional than any adults I've worked with. Sorry, adults. Steven's a really great guy. We just click in with minds. Like, we know what we're doing together. Like, he says something, and then I would say the same thing right after. Like, I was just thinking that. <laughs> and head nod. So it's, it's going to go pretty good, I think, right? Yes. All right, yeah. It's going to go awesome. Thanks, guys. <laughs> cool. You're a good director. Yeah, uh, we'll see. <laughs> cool. Awesome. You've got eight days. It's not a lot of time, but it is enough time to make a superb film. Many of the shorts are very memorable yeah, and that's part that's of that's uh, that's Vancouver that's film that's history. That's Go Crazy Eights! <laughs> it's the best festival out there. <laughs> but she finds her liberation. It's like her first time ever orgasming. It's like discovering a vibrator for the first time and you disappear for about four days. You guys, you guys know, right? <laughs> As producers, we can't pay people on Crazy Eights, but we did buy Scratch and Win tickets for all of our uh, cast and crew today, so um, hopefully somebody will win the, you know, the 10 grand. The jackpot. Scratching, scratching. Oh, five dollars. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> rolling. We weren't rolling, we were giving you gold. <laughs> I thought that was a question. Yeah, you just take one. Oh, wait, you didn't roll on that one. <laughs>